Hey guys, it's Logan with Goo Gaming. It's Fox with Goo Gaming. Uh, Friday, I won the Giant Mole Chummy. Big one, the huge one. Saturday, he came in second with I the same the, deck. I might have lost to a Riddick deck in the finals. And Sunday, I got third, all with the same deck, and it's Fiend Smith Snake Eyes. So it's been a crazy deck. It was all most card for card. Sunday, I changed like three cards in the side deck, but everything was the same in the main deck. It was crazy. It was nasty. It was good homework to copy. Yeah, crazy deck. So let's go get into it. We got three copies of Snake Eyes Ash. He's the best one. Two Poplar, an Oak, a Flame Burge, and a Snake Eye Diabelle. I heard you locked this card this weekend. That card smoked, brother. Let me tell you. That card, uh, when, you, when you were grinding them out, Diabelle Star solves all the problems. Yep. And you don't need to play two Flame Burge anymore because, like, the only reason you did it was for the Hope combos. And, like, now with Fiendsmith, your deck's so powerful, you just want to minimize the bricks. I had a lot of games where my Flame Burge had banished, and it just didn't matter. Like, I got to just... There's, my, my cards did enough without Flamberg that I was winning games. Yep. So we got three Bonfire, standard. The rest is a standard, so it's like three Wanted, three Witch, an OSS, and a Temple. All this is standard. There's an argument for playing two of these, but I don't think so. Uh, this crazy engine. Dude, let me tell you. The Feedsmith cards are like my new favorite cards. I say that every time we get new busted engines and splash and stuff, but they are like so much fun to play with. I feel like I win every game. Like, they're nice. Yep. I so, wish I had that power. Yeah, like, <laughs> Tavion made a deck list error, so he could not succeed with us this weekend, but it's okay. I played the same list in the playoffs and main event. Um, this car These cards are just nasty, dude. They just let you do so much. Um, yeah, go for people who are saying one. play one, don't. Don't. Just don't. Play them all. Play, play, play three. Them all. Uh, three nibs. It's the best hand trap right now, I think. Uh, it's, you pair it with another hand trap, they end on minimal or like nothing. So three, three Ash, three Imperm, three Valor. All this is standard. Uh, we didn't play Mourner because I felt like it didn't pair with some of the other hand traps that well. Like it doesn't do anything to Snake Eyes Ash. That's the problem, Not I think. Enough. Like if and they you start letting them play, it gets a little out yeah, of them really like, quick. If they start with Snake Eyes Ash, any other hand trap is better than Warner. So, I don't know. like even even Nib, like people mess up and don't play around it. So. Bro, yes, I'm one of those people. <laughs> Three bestials. These cards were bananas. Bananas. The brothers. only difference in uh, my deck uh, Sunday to the other two days was I put more of them in the side deck because these cards are just crazy. Um, then we got games, baby. this card. card. Okay. So MVP right now, um, you need like three hand traps to consistently stop the mirror, or like a combination of two powerful ones, and um, basically the highest chance, like without going to like an absurd number of cards, what gives you the highest chance to do that is three Mulchummy. Jellyfish is broken, baby. Uh, because if you pair Mulchummy with any other hand trap, it makes them play awkwardly to play into the other hand traps, and when you stop them, yeah, they can extend, but they give you more cards. And with the amount, it's hard to do the math because you have to calculate like how many hand traps you draw in your opening hand. But if you open three, like animal chummy, you're just drawing gas. But you have like around a 50% chance for each draw after you activate the first one. And if you draw two, obviously you draw two for every summon. So this card is just the closest thing we have to max C. And uh, I think it should just be an everyone's main deck, to be honest. Really, if you use the rogue decks too, like the miscellaneous decks that try to like, a lot of decks, their extenders are just throwing cards from their hand onto the field. I mean, yeah. even the Snake Eyes decks, like, if you if you imperm Snake Eyes Ash, if they do not have Fiendsmith, they have to summon more cards from their hand. You know what I mean? So, 18 hand traps, 42 card deck. Pretty clean. More reliable. Uh, I guess I'll get into the extra anima. Uh, I heard people try to cut this. You can't. Um, yeah, we tried, and then we found combos that just are the safest. Like, the one card combo doesn't play around nib, but, like, it basically plays through Nib by giving you extra body, so if you have any extender, you can play around it. Uh, IP, SP, these are standard. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Hita. I don't know how people cut one of these because Literally. you don't have anything to link into. Yeah. You do that. I had a lot of people talking about cutting Phoenix this weekend, I just didn't grasp why they would do that. Uh, Princess, Apo, uh, Celine, Access Code. Uh, I didn't play Necroquip at all. Um, there are situations where, yes, it does come up, but... In a tournament, you need cards like this. Like, if you play against Runic Stun game one and they skill drain you, you don't have an out to skill drain if you don't play this card. Um, and, like, game one, I think, is the most important game to win right now. I agree. Um, and that's the reason we're main decking the Mulchummies. That's why we're playing cards like this, because these cards still gain. 
And like, yeah, a Necro Clip in a vacuum sounds insane, but when you have eight cars dedicated to your Snake Eyes engine, or your uh, Fiendsmith engine, I'm sorry, uh, when you actually have to play real games of Yu-Gi-Oh instead of just comboing on your opponent, it doesn't work out that well. It also just doesn't come up into like the major impactful hand traps like Nibiru and stuff. So, uh, Requiem, Moon, uh, Se Sequence, uh, Lacrima, Desiree. This card's crazy. <laughs> People literally were like, I can't believe you're playing Desiree. Or they, like, I would summon it and they Same. would. Same. They confused I had it. Like, they were like, you play Desiree? And I'm like, <laughs> like you're going to play against these decks like gimmick puppet or uh what's another deck that's play a lot of hand traps like branded stuff like that and these cards are so good this card solos uh runic stun like you equip it it can't be targeted it just starts negating everything if they out it it sends one of their floodgates it's crazy i don't know how people don't play that card and then beatrice this is probably the least made card in my extra deck to be honest I only made it, I think I made it twice all weekend, and one was in the second giant card. So I want to say I made it once. Like, it, was just, it didn't come up. The only game I made it, and it actually mattered, was against Dennis in top four of the second giant card. And it's because I only opened Fiendsmith, so, like, those hands suck anyways. They lose a one-hand trap regardless. So, like, I don't know. I don't play any of the FDKs for that card, because I don't think it, exi it should exist. Uh, so, two more Bistials. This is different. I had... Snatch still change of heart mind control on Friday and he played that on Saturday. I never sided those cards in, they never or I guess I never drew those cards, they never impacted the game. So I changed it to a Harpy's Feather Duster, Runic Stun. Didn't play any Runic Stun this event. How? Uh and then two more Bistials. I sided them into the mirror because I realized that I kind of just wanted bodies when it passed on my turn, regardless if they had a board or not. And uh, this usually stopped them from getting to Desiree. That's what I like about the best deals the most in general, was just being able to have dudes to either summon, you know, link someone to break a board or just to start my own plays. Yep. Uh, three cross out. Bust. Bust. Negate. <laughs> Bust. Sometimes it's a judgment, baby. Uh, three skill drain. And this is the reason we played this card over talents or even considered playing, never considered playing talents. Is because against Runic Stun you can call this, and in the mirror going second you can call this. So you gotta have the so. Uh Two cosmic, obviously. Uh, I, this is a weird ratio. I just threw these in. I didn't really know what else to play. Two droplet. Um, I just wanted it for like the decks that you need droplet against, like voiceless, uh, random rogue decks. I don't yeah. know. It's, just... it's a good coverage card, honestly. Like droplet can solve a lot of problems you didn't have a solution to. Before. This card cooks. Oh. Now, okay, so now this card. This card sucks. Souls. This card's so good. That's so good, brother. So like, Silhouette Rabbit, Silhouette Rabbit, however you pronounce the name, and the Azurun statue. Like, if you get hand trapped a lot, like, you just end on this IP with this set with like Princess Temple Fire Monster, and it's like a lot of interruptions. And if you open any two card combo, Snake Eyes Ash plus any extender like uh black witch yeah, engraver great, any of it ends on I'll, I'll show you what it ends on it ends on i don't want to do the whole combo because that, that's just going to take too long but if you guys want to see combos i can show them but uh you end on this with um, the flame birch yeah uh ip's in your speller trap princess is in your grave uh there's a flame burge on your board somewhere. I don't know where the flame burge is at. He's in here somewhere. <laughs> here he is. And then like the statue set. So like this is your two car combo. Like it ends on this. And like it's really cool because I play around Dark Roller no more and stuff because you can like activate and then effect negate. And you would think, oh, you don't get an MST if you do that. No, you do because this is anytime a monster special summon from spell traps. So you can be like effect, bring up MST. Cooking. It's so good. I like, want this deck's insane. I won one of my rounds uh, day two and. Uh, I used that, and people were watching me and like saying you couldn't do that. And then I had to explain to them that they need to read the card. <laughs> this card, and I was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this card's insane. Uh, any other? M I, I Zodia obliterate, bro. The deck was awesome. Shout out to Logan for the homework, bro. That's all I have to say. Yep, we grinded for this event. We didn't do the well in the main deck event, but we tore up the side events. Make sure to put Flamebird on your deck list. That's for sure. <laughs> And Make track. Sure <laughs> to comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, guys.